Hey, 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 everybody. It's Tea Talk with your girl. How y'all doing today? Me, I am okay. This one piece of hair is driving me crazy, but that's all right. We're going to get through this video anyway. <laughs> anyway, y'all, listen. I am coming with um some commentary on the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. If you don't know... And you're like me, you're a Portia fan. Portia is back on the screen. So just in case you don't know, Peacock is airing The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip Season 3, okay? And Portia is on there, okay? And she's still acting silly, y'all. But anyway, I'm a Portia fan. So if you are too, let me know down in them comments, girl. So, anyway, y'all, y'all know I'm going to watch The Real Housewives of Ultimate Girls Trip, so I figured we could talk about it together, right? So, before I get into this commentary, let me just remind everybody that all things on my channel are alleged and in my opinion. Yes, y'all, my opinion. Not nobody's but mine. But what I want y'all to do is drop your opinion down in those comments, and let's talk about it. Let's talk about this down in the comments, y'all. Okay, so let's get started. Now, when we open up, we open up to Portia, okay? And Portia is being as silly as she know how, talking about, do I look at the camera or do I look at you? As if she don't know. But anyway, she says she been gone for a minute, y'all, so she forgot. She been traveling and, and, and doing all this, so child, I guess she forgot how, to, how her job worked. But anyway... That's Portia for you, playing dumb, right? So, Portia was asked, what does she have to bring to the show that no one else does? And Portia says, I survived Roa. Hmm, wasn't that a survival child? And um, she has been away from the camera, so she's going to be looking at things from the outside in, right? That's what she's bringing. Then we go to Whitney and her cousin packing, okay? We go right back to Portia and her confessionals. And she says that them girls ain't nothing but drama, okay? And I agree because I only watched the first season. But baby, those two, hmm, I could do without on my TV screen. They flash back to their little fight they had. And again, I didn't watch the season, so I can't tell you nothing about it and don't even care, okay? That's my honest opinion, y'all. I honestly don't like Whitney or Heather. They attack Murray on, that's how I feel, about her church, when they both come from the Mormon church. Need I say any more? I don't think so. So whatever Murray was doing, <laughs> it can't be too much better than what y'all was brought up on. So what's the difference? Hmm, that's all I got to say. Anyway, we're going over there to Leah and her mama, and Leah is packing. Not much to see there, okay? Portia gives her take on Leah, okay? Then production flashes back to when Leah was at Ramona's, you know, pool party. Because, you know, Portia said she was kind of brazen or whatever. When she was on there all naked and chasing um, Sonya around the pool, okay? Then we're going over to Roja, okay? And we have Giselle and Candace, and they are packing. And Portia says they bring drama too, right? Because this is, first, it seems like it's all about Portia's take on the girls, right? So anyway, production flashes back to Candace and the jail, and they talk about the Chris situation. And Candace says she doesn't want to tussle with Giselle, so she's just going to let it go and enjoy the girls' trip. Okay? Then we go to the Miami girls, and we got Marisol and Alexa on the phone. And Marisol tells Alexa, y'all, Marisol tells Alexa that there is a master bedroom on the third floor. And that they should get it because they are the OGs, okay? They've been housewives the longest. But this is what I want somebody to do. If you see Alexa in Marisol, please let them know, okay, that their show ran from 2011 to 2013 where they were able to get three seasons, okay, before they were canceled, okay? Canceled, yeah. Then they were picked back up in 21, and they've had two seasons with a total of five, right? Portia was on Roa for eight straight years. Because, baby, I hope y'all don't think y'all was housewives when you wasn't getting a check. Housewives get a check. 
Ask Nene. She'll tell you. When you ain't a housewife no more, you don't get to check no more. Okay? So you can't be claiming to be a housewife, honey, when you wasn't one. You was a housewife for five years. But anyway, don't worry because we're going to see what happened next, right? Portia says that the Miami ladies, they have issues to deal with. And then they flash back on over there to their stuff, child. And, you know, not much to see there either. Heather tells us about her helping Jen prepare for trial and that she has not recovered yet because Jen just got locked up. So she just hasn't recovered from finding out that Jen was guilty all along. She hasn't recovered. But you chased Murray around. But you was holding up for Jen. <laughs> the ladies all get on a plane and they board. And then we get to Thailand 20 hours later. Whitney is walking around lost, y'all. Lost. Okay? Giselle arrives and she greets Pepsi. And in the confessional, Pepsi tells us that he speaks Tinglish, whatever that is. And some other stuff that I really didn't understand. Giselle sees the view from the villa and tells Pepsi she want to stay there, honey, because it did look good, right? Meanwhile, y'all, Whitney is still lost, okay? Alexia shows up at the house and greets Giselle, and she says her and Marisol will be bringing the nightlife and the Latin vibe, okay? Latin vibe, that's what she said. Her and Giselle speak on who they know, and they share their stories. Candace shows up and loved the house just as much as Giselle did. And she wants to get in that pool. Okay? And then, Giselle says that though they had a rocky seventh season, they not going to carry that mess into Thailand, right? Whitney finally finds the villa. Finally, y'all. Finally. Portia, Leah, and Marisol are in their sprinter, right? And baby, they getting their drink on, okay? Whitney says she's anxious about meeting Candace because she was meddling on the internet earlier involving Candace, right? And she afraid Candace gonna light her up. But she had the nerve to say she ain't scared. She ready. Hmm, baby. <clears throat> you don't want Candace to get at you. You don't. Mm-mm. Giselle tells Whitney she's saving her Jen Shaw questions for Heather. Whitney reveals she has some questions for Heather herself, right? We go back to Marisol. She said she wants to meet Heather because Heather drinks a lot. And who knows that a drunk don't want to be around another drunk, right? Portia asks back there with them, does she drink a lot? Because I thought that's just how she act. Hmm. Shade, honey, the shade. Leah said she did the Bravo chat room with Giselle and Portia, honey. Portia said, oh, you did? Y'all know Portia is shady. Leah said, itch. Yes. And you said I should hook up with Jack Nicholson. And it became a whole thing. So Portia said, well, dang, did he DM you then? She said no. And Marisol chimed in and said, that man 999 years old. Why would he ever text Leah? She had a shade they throwing. In the confessional, Portia says she likes everyone, even the people that don't like her because she's in a much better place now and she sees sunshine and blue skies, honey. Okay? And that's okay with Portia if they don't like her, right? Heather shows up at the house, and she speaks about her and Whitney's situation in the confessional. She said she she wasn't um, easy. Wait a minute. Heather shows up at the house. She speaks about her and Whitney's situation in the confessional, and she said it wasn't easy, but nothing heals wound like a girl's trip. Baby, that's a lie. Get on that girl's trip. Anyway, let's keep watching. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Make a bad situation worse if you ask me. Heather also says she hopes all the ladies love that she is the, their biggest fan and hope that they will overlook that she bringing the, gam, the glam factor down. Mm -mm -mm. Talk about low self-esteem, honey. I ain't got no comment because Grandma said if you ain't got nothing nice to say, keep your mouth closed. So what we're going to do is keep it moving right along, okay? Giselle starts with the Jen questions to Heather, right? 
They go back and forth about Heather supporting her, knowing she was lying. Heather says she's not sure what happened and what made Jim plead guilty, okay? Alexia thinks she took the plea to avoid 30 years, okay? Whitney says Jen was a master manipulator who put on a facade, okay? They go back and forth about a woman who's off the franchise and in jail. But yet, that's what we're talking about. Mm, mm, mm. Portia and the Miami lady show up. That is Marisol, because Alexia already there, which is not really understandable, because why did you separate? Well, anyway, I guess they wanted the ladies to mingle, right? Anyway, they all work the room. Remember this, Leah and Heather have a talk, and Leah tells her that she thinks that she was manipulated by a narcissist, right? That's what she tells Heather, right? Heather says she don't appreciate that, right? She don't appreciate that. But they talking because they all out, they getting to know each other, right? In the confessional, Heather does admit that she's she's a target for narcissists. But it didn't, she didn't like that comment, right? So Pepsi interrupts the ladies and tells them that they're going on the tour and they will start, you know, the spirit house. And Portia want to know, what is the spirits gonna stay in their house or are they coming over at this house? Cause you know we rented this house and not them. And I hope they're not coming over here. The ladies go to the spirit house, okay? Porsche is thankful for being there in the sisterhood and the food. You know she likes to eat. Candace says she, she hopes she can keep her edges, okay? She must be thinking Porsche gonna pull them out. Porsche says she's changed. This on three episodes. We gonna see. Giselle wants fun and drama. Marisol, of course, she says she is she is Mary J. Blige. She running for Murray, and she don't want no more drama, honey. Whitney pays for their families back home, and she says that she don't want no drama. Giselle, in her confessional, says that Whitney been a housewife for, what, two years? And she's arguing with her cousin, so if anyone needs to zip it, uh, it's Whitney, okay? Even though we know Giselle... Is the pastera, okay? Keep watching. You'll see what I mean. Marisol and Alexia begin to speak Spanish. Giselle calls them out, and they are offended, okay? Because that's she shouldn't call them out for speaking their language, okay? Now, I'm a just my take on it is I don't think I would appreciate it either if we on a girls' trip. Because then you, you like, it is like you excluding people out of the conversation. And we all there having open conversations. So I get it. But Giselle punked out later. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later, okay? Normally rooms are assigned. These, you know, they eat their lunch and then they go back, right? Normally the rooms are assigned, right? When they go back to the house, Pepsi let them know he going to take them to their room. Hmm. Marisol and Alexia did not get the big room. Okay, Portia did. Portia got the big room, okay? And in her confessional, honey, she said, woo, look like Bravo trying to woo her. And production had to let her know, this is not Bravo, this is Peacock. Portia said, oh, <laughs> just keep it coming. <laughs> just keep it coming. That's what she said. I saw it. Candace and Leah get their room. Honey, Leah not happy with her room. Mm -mm. She did not like her room. Chad, she ain't got no view. She down in like a hole or basement or something. Mm. She tells Candace that she gonna come to her room for morning coffee. And I want us to remember this because I think this gonna be a problem later because I don't think I would like somebody to keep coming in my room every morning waking me up for eight straight days. Anyway, Giselle and Candace, they basking in Portia's room because like I said, Portia got that room, honey. Then Giselle wants to know who Portia like and who Portia dislike. Child, Portia says she like everybody and she don't understand why her why people saying her and Candace might get into it. She don't know why people saying that. Hmm. Anyway, let's keep going. Candace, Leah, and Whitney link up. And Candace asks Whitney about her and Heather. Whitney is mad that Heather doesn't give her the same loyalty she gave Jen. Leah asks Candace about Giselle. Candace tells the girls, do not trust Giselle. No matter what you do, don't you tell Giselle your business. Hmm. Giselle tries sucking Portia into the gents' shawl of it all. But Portia asked her, 
What the hell did you want um, Heather to do? And that's what I want to know. She keep on talking to this woman like this woman was supposed to do something. If my friend keeps telling me she's innocent, what am I supposed to do? I don't understand what she wanted the girl to do. Did she want her to turn over her knee? Oh, maybe she wanted her to stop being a friend with her co-worker. Because that's what she do to her co-workers. But she didn't do that because she wanted to keep the show going. Hmm. Some people should have taken notes. Candace says she can't stay mad at chaos, meaning Giselle. Right there. Candace don't want to stay mad because Candace want to check. And the only way to get the check is to film with the woman you don't like. So she says, sure, I'll do it. Because she wanted a check. Right? They got to put their they stuff. That's your co-worker. You might not like all your co-workers, but you still got to go work with them. Anyway, Giselle wants the tea. Portia said they don't even know them people's last name, honey. Heather, Portia, and Giselle are hanging out drinking, right? Leah pulls up, and Heather says, while Leah's Lea is not in earshot, let's get Leah drunk. That's what Heather said. Portia says Leah don't drink. Heather says she know. That's the challenge. Giselle said, Heather, that's not nice, right? Leah comes up. Giselle first asks Leah about her room. Leah says, the, you know, her room ain't that great. And she thinking that y'all room must be sick because y'all asking about hers. Now, honey, if that wasn't pouring salt on the boom, Giselle asks, if Leah drinks on this trip, what would it do? Leah said it would ruin her life. And before that girl could say the word life, Giselle was like, oh, well, Heather said we should give you a drink. Mm. Heather says she didn't know it would ruin her life. Leah says, I was a drug alec and an alcoholic, right? Heather says, I know, I read your book. Baby, when she said she read that girl book, you could have bought me for five cents. Now, you know that book told all about drugs and alcohol. Mm, mm, mm. So Leah said, wait. You read my book, you shady biatch. Leah is shocked that this woman done read her book and still talking about she should give her a drink. Y'all, that's terrible. Listen, Giselle is still stirring the pot. She done left Potomac, went all the way to Thailand and said, oh, let me keep this up. I got my spoon in my purse. Let me take it out and stir up some mess, okay? Heather gets a taste of Giselle right away and realizes that she is a minnow swimming with some real daggone sharks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Marisol is still drinking, child. She is still drinking, okay? It is time for lunch. Leah is telling all the ladies what Heather did, okay? She's telling all the ladies. And Whitney tells everyone, okay, that is what Heather does. She makes bad jokes, she hurts people, and then she pretends that she doesn't know, okay? While at lunch, Giselle asks Portia, since she's the housewife that been around the longest, in this particular group, did anybody tell Marisol and Alexia? I don't think they did. How it is being a housewife and building your brand? Portia tells the girls all about being a housewife, building the brand. Giselle grills Leah about the housewives of New York. Are they coming back? Is she even a housewife? Okay. Then Leah, I mean, then she goes on to pluck Whitney and Heather, right? She want to know what's going on. They supposed to be playing the game now. Giselle done stopped the whole game. Heather said Giselle made her feel like Monica Lewinsky in her confessional with semen on her dress. They flash back to Salt Lake City. And I fast forward, y'all. I'm sorry. I just can't do that franchise. I did. Portia tried to bring the girls around. And Portia quickly overtalks her and get them to keep cackling, right? Portia's trying to stop them from arguing. Because Giselle done got them stirred up. Child, they went right over Portia and kept right on going. They go back and forth. Heather says Whitney compromised the friendship for a TV moment. Then they get just cackling. Giselle finally says, table it, table it. She stirred up the mess. Now she want the mess to stop. Then she just stirred up the mess. And now she want the mess to stop. Okay? I can't with her. I can't. 
Pepsi breaks the lunch up and tells the girls to go get ready for the next thing to do. Pepsi said the ladies are beautiful and smile all the time, honey. When he got to Portia, he had to describe Portia. That man like Portia. Something better look out. Don't let Portia go to Thailand. Pepsi, be ready. Mm -hmm. The ladies get to the dinner. Me, they ready to go, right? They ready to go. Candace is beating her face, honey. She ain't ready to go. They not, she not ready. So, you know, Giselle, in true form, she said, leave her. Leave Candace. If she wants to come, she'll have to get production to bring her. <laughs> Heather, Marisol, and they ride together, okay? And all agree that Giselle asks a lot of questions, okay? They said Giselle asks a lot of questions. And then in Alexia's confessional, she says... Giselle likes to put people on the spot, and Gis Giselle should have been a lawyer. Mm -mm -mm. That's what she said. Whitney, Portia, Giselle, and Leah are in the car, and Leah tells the girls that Heather has asked her how she was going to stay sober, okay, at their very first meet and greet at the villa, okay? Now, Heather, back in her car, she telling these other girls about what she didn't did, right? Whitney reminds them that Heather was fascinated with Portia's 7 million followers and that since Heather, you know, has more friends than Whitney now, she don't even want to hang out with Whitney unless they get in the paid engagement for the bad weather friends, okay? Okay, that's what she said. Whitney tells the lady she won't be surprised, right? If Heather says that she forgot what she said to Leah. All the ladies gather for dinner, Marissa and Alexia begin speaking Spanish again. Oh my gosh, why would they do that? Giselle says, oh no, not again, right? Portia, again, like, what's going on? She don't know what's going on. Giselle tells us they speaking that Spanish again, okay? Alexia, bring her usual self. She wants to know why it's a problem. Why is it a problem that we're speaking Spanish, Giselle? So anyway, Giselle gave them this long, drawn-out story about her kids, and her kids make her feel left out. I mean, I guess that was a diplomatic answer. Maybe production told her she shouldn't say stuff like that on TV. I don't know, because she sure changed her whole story, okay? Anyway, Marisol said in her confessional that Giselle is crazy, okay? The woman is crazy, and she said it in Spanish. So Giselle's going to read the... the She's going to read it and see uh, that you called a crazy girl, okay? Candy shows up. She lets the girls know she want to play this impression session game. Best impression, worst impression. Giselle says she thought Leah was nice and sweet. Tell Leah said WTF she was talking about, talking about Heather. Y'all know she's stirring the pot again. She said she wanted to table the conversation until she was ready for it, right? Of course, her worst impression was Heather and how she was with Leah. Leah... Okay, bring up how Heather asked her how she was going to survive without drinking. And just true to form, as Whitney said, Heather says that she didn't say it. I don't remember. I don't remember saying that. Oh my God, I don't remember. And Leah said, Whitney said you was going to say that. Mm -mm. Whitney is pissed to the off, okay, that she said that. She said, you're throwing me under the bus? Heather asked Leah, is she really going to make this a big thing? You know, they ended up hugging it out. Leah said she's not holding on to it. Leah's worst impression um, was of Heather, best of Portia. Candace said she thought she was going to, Heather was going to be boring. Portia said Heather isn't her worst, yada, yada, yada. Marisol said her best impression was Portia. Her worst impression was um, Giselle. Giselle explains it's her kids speaking Spanish, leaving her out, yada, yada, yada. Alexa said Giselle asked a lot of questions to deflect from herself. Giselle says she answers questions. Candace says she doesn't agree. Whitney says, you know, yada, yada, yada. Listen, y'all, let's just get to the good part, okay? Portia tries to give her imp her take, okay?
because Candace talks about her issues with Ashley. And Portia tried to give her a take on the situation and what she thought. And so Portia was like, yeah, well, this is what I was... And Candace was like, no. And then Portia was like, yeah, so what a way you're not letting me talk. And Candace was like, no. And Portia was like, but wait, I want to say what I want to say. I Well, Portia, Candace was like, no, I said it on purpose. I meant to say it. I was being mean. And Portia was like, oh, well, you mean as fuck then. And then it went off, y'all. That's how it went off. Anyway, listen, like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel, all right? Peace out. I got another video to make. Love y'all. And listen, for real talk, thank you so much for being my subscriber. We got so much in store. I got some uh, panels that I'm working on with some real life situations. And um, we're going to talk about them, right? We're going to talk about them. So, um, yeah, I got some really good stuff coming. It's not with a reality show. It's with, it's, it's with real life people that I know. And we're going to talk about some real life situations, okay, over here. Um, we're going to do our reality shows and have our fun, right? But it's real life stuff out here that we could be talking about. So, um, I got some stuff coming, okay? So, like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Share the video. Listen, tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody. We over here, we doing things, and we're going to keep talking about the tea, okay? See you in the next video.